Tyrannosaurus Rex. The name already sounds like a death sentence. The king of the tyrant lizards. This giant stretched up to 12 meters long and nearly four meters tall at the hip. A bite force of over six tons. The strongest ever measured in a land animal. But it wasn't just brute muscle. Its eyes faced forward, stereoscopic vision, perfect for hunting. And the irony, tiny arms. Too short to hold prey, yet strong enough to lift more than 180 kilograms each. Hollywood turned it into the ultimate monster, but in reality, it was also a scavenger, stealing carcasses from other predators. In the end, T-Rex was both a killer and an opportunist, the most famous predator on Earth, and also a thief of leftovers. Triceratops the three-horned tank of the Cretaceous. This beast stretched nearly nine meters long, weighing over six tons, basically a walking bulldozer covered in armor. Two massive horns above the eyes, each over a meter long, plus a smaller one on the nose. Weapons sharp enough to pierce a T-Rex skull. And that giant frill? Not just for protection. Some scientists think it was also for display, intimidation, or maybe even dinosaur flirting. Despite its size, Triceratops wasn't invincible. Fossil evidence shows bite marks on frills and horns, proof that these giants fought tooth and claw with predators. In the end, it was the perfect mix of brute strength and style. A prehistoric tank with a fashion statement on its head. Velociraptor. A name that sends chills down your spine, thanks to Hollywood. But reality? Way smaller. Barely two meters long. Half a meter tall. Lighter than a golden retriever. More angry poultry than movie monster. Yes, imagine a Thanksgiving turkey, except this one wants you on the menu. But size wasn't the point. Velociraptor was speed, precision, long legs, lightweight body, and that weapon, a curved sickle-shaped claw, razor sharp, perfect for gutting prey. And here's the kicker, feathers, not scaly monsters, Feathered assassins, a nightmare chicken with murder in its eyes. Some fossils even suggest pack hunting, multiple fluffy raptors swarming prey far bigger than themselves. So forget the Hollywood giant, the real velociraptor, smaller, faster, and honestly, scarier. Because if the last thing you saw was a flock of angry turkeys with knives for toes, that's not just death. That's humiliation. Brachiosaurus, the prehistoric skyscraper. While most dinosaurs kept their heads low, this one broke the rules. With a neck so tall, it could nibble treetops 13 meters off the ground. It stretched over 25 meters long, weighed up to 60 tons. That's about 10 African elephants stacked together. Its body plan was unique front legs longer than back legs, tilting the torso upward like a giraffe on steroids. Hollywood made it majestic, the gentle giant that welcomed us in Jurassic Park. And honestly, that part wasn't far off. It probably traveled in herds, stripping entire forests bare as it moved. A walking ecosystem, reshaping landscapes just by existing. But imagine the sound. One sneeze from a 60-ton animal? That's an extinction-level event for anything standing nearby. In the end, Brachiosaurus wasn't just a dinosaur. It was the planet's first high-rise, a living tower built from muscle, bone, and appetite. Stegosaurus. The dinosaur with a back full of mystery, nine meters long, five tons heavy, and a brain barely the size of a walnut. Yes, a literal giant with tiny processing power. And those famous plates, too thin for armor, maybe solar panels, or bright displays for showing off. But the real weapon? The tail. Four deadly spikes. The phagomizer. One swing strong enough to puncture ribs like toothpicks. Predators learned the hard way. Fossils show injuries, proof those spikes hit back. So what was Stegosaurus? A walking fortress? A solar-powered tank? A billboard with teeth? Whatever the truth, it proved even dumb-looking dinosaurs had tricks up their armored sleeves. Spinosaurus, the sail-backed monster, the crocodile, 
on steroids. Even longer than T-Rex, over 15 meters snout to tail. And unlike most predators, this one ruled land and water. Semi-aquatic, a prehistoric torpedo. Its jaws packed with conical teeth, perfect for spearing fish the size of cars. And that sail? Still debated. Display? Thermoregulation? Or just nature flexing? Dense bones, paddle-like feet, built to swim. A crocodile's body with a shark's attitude. But here's the twist. On land? Awkward. Short legs made it clumsy compared to T-Rex. Yet, in rivers, Spinosaurus was untouchable. The ultimate river monster. Half dinosaur, half crocodile. All terror. Ankylosaurus. The walking fortress. Eight meters long. Armor plates from nose to tail. Bone studs everywhere. A medieval war machine disguised as an herbivore. Its back, so tough, even T-Rex struggled to bite through. But the real weapon was the tail. A massive bone club. One swing strong enough to crush skulls. And shatter legs. Picture this. You're a predator chasing dinner. And dinner hits back hard enough to snap your femur. Game over. Low slung body, defensive posture. Basically an organic tank. But every fortress has a weakness. For Ankylosaurus, it was the underbelly. Flip it over and the tank became vulnerable. Still, one thing was certain. Mess with Ankylosaurus and you left the battlefield with fewer bones than you came in with. Allosaurus. The apex predator, before T-Rex ever showed up. It ruled 150 million years ago during the Jurassic. Smaller than T-Rex, but still terrifying. 10 meters long, over two tons. What it lacked in size, it made up for in speed and strategy. Its skull, lighter. Jaws built not just for crushing, but for slashing, like a hatchet. Biting down, pulling back, leaving gaping wounds. And it didn't always hunt alone. Evidence suggests packs. Imagine wolves, but 10 meters long, serrated teeth included. Fossils show scars, proof of brutal fights against armored dinosaurs, and against each other. Not a tank, not the biggest, but a Jurassic blade. Fast, vicious, perfectly designed to keep the throne warm, until T-Rex arrived. Pteranodon. The creature everyone calls a dinosaur, but truth is, it wasn't. Pterosaurs ruled the land. Pterosaurs ruled the skies. Different family, different rules, but no less terrifying. Wingspan over seven meters. Basically, a flying bus. Actually, correction, a flying bus with no teeth. Its long beak scooped fish straight from the ocean. A seagull scaled up to nightmare size. And that crest on its head? Likely balance in flight, maybe display. A prehistoric billboard screaming, look at me. Hollywood made them people snatchers, raining chaos from above. Reality? Mostly fish hunters. But let's be real. If a flock of these winged giants came after you, you'd never look at the sky the same way again. Not a dinosaur, true, but an icon of the Mesozoic skies. Mosasaurus! The sea monster that made sharks look like goldfish. Not a dinosaur, a marine reptile, relative of snakes and monitor lizards. 15 meters long, jaws lined with conical teeth, built for crushing turtles, fish, even other marine reptiles. Picture a crocodile stretched into a submarine, flippers for speed, tail like a scythe, and Hollywood showed it leaping from the water to eat sharks. Surprisingly, not far-fetched. It could swallow prey whole, just like a snake. But its true terror? The ambush, striking from below, invisible until too late. On land, T-Rex reigned, but in the seas, Mosasaurus was king. A reptile so monstrous that even Megalodon came millions of years too late to challenge it. Archaeopteryx. 
The missing link between dinosaurs and birds. Discovered in 1861. A fossil with feathers and reptilian traits. Proof that birds aren't just related to dinosaurs, they are dinosaurs. Small, raven-sized, sharp teeth, clawed fingers, long bony tail, not your morning songbird. Its wings, feathered, yes, but flight was clumsy. Gliding between trees, maybe short bursts. A prototype for flight itself. Self. To predators, it was a snack with wings. But to science, a revelation. So next time you see a pigeon, remember, it's a tiny dinosaur in disguise. Archaeopteryx was proof. The first bird with teeth sharp enough to remind you where it came from. Pachycephalosaurus. The dinosaur with a head harder than common sense. Its skull dome, 25 centimeters thick. Thicker than concrete. Imagine running headfirst into a wall and winning. Four and a half meters long, stocky build, forehead built for violence. But the big debate, what was it doing with that battering ram skull? Some say males collided head to head, prehistoric rams shaking the ground with every strike. Others think they went for sideways blows, ribs instead of skulls. And here's the twist. Maybe they weren't fighting at all. Maybe that dome was for display. Bright colors, a prehistoric sports car for impressing dates. So what was Pachycephalosaurus? A bone crushing gladiator? Or just a dinosaur desperate to look cool? Either way, it was the ultimate hardhead. The last on our list, and probably the only dinosaur that could knock itself out and keep going. See you in the next video. Electric Eel. Not actually an eel, more like a long, angry battery with fins. This river-dwelling predator can unleash shocks up to 6,000 volts.